And the Beachy Creek Fire, one of the largest, burning 190,000 acres in Marion and Lynn County. And we can tell you that people are now returning home to see all the damage. Our Mike Lowe is live in Lyons, where he talked with people who are opening up about their tragic losses. Mike. And good evening to both of you. These fast moving fires laid waste to farms and fields, leaving scorched earth, untold property damage, and of course, resulting in this worsening air pollution crisis. But here in the Fisherman's Bend area of Lyons, a number of people, a vast majority of the people here lost or had damaged property from the Beachy Creek Fire, which of course is now burning over 190,000 acres. Yeah, everything burned. In the long journey to contain the raging wildfires. Yep, that's the print right there. A single footprint stands out. One of the firefighters that fought the back, it was so hot, his boot caught fire and he stepped on the grass and actually burned in its exact footprint. And we really have to praise these firefighters for what they've done. You know, risking their lives for material things. Brian Yarbury of Mill City says firefighters saved his son's home in Lyons. Very lucky the house survived. But much of the community did not. The home is now surrounded by scorched earth, blackened trees, and destroyed buildings, reduced to ash and rubble, some still smoldering. Heavy smoke lingers in the air as a reminder of the hazards that remain. But Yarbury says with so many people displaced, turning communities into ghost towns, he says the biggest threat is to his home, not his health. Residents, some of us stayed. Why? Uh, to protect the property as much as we could. It's hard to put into words, you know. Some of us was very lucky, others was not lucky. And there's nothing anyone could have done about it. One of them is Brad Needham, who returned to his lion's home to collect the only possession that remains. I'm pulling my trailer out to go take it to get it fixed so we can live in it. His home was destroyed when a wall of flames raged through the Santium Canyon area where he lives on the North Santium River. Our house is gone, it's burnt to the ground. He says there's no choice but to be resilient and rebuild, knowing the journey will be long, but it begins with a single step. There'll be grass here next year, so, and we'll replant trees and it'll be better. And up until just a few hours ago, this area was designated as an Area 3 evacuation zone, meaning nobody could be inside of here. Since then, authorities have eased those restrictions, meaning this is now a Level 2 area, so people can come back to their property, but many people who are coming back are finding that their homes are gone. Reporting live in Lyons, Mike Lowe, Coin 6 News.